An essential part of each telegraph set is an electromagnet. Such sets can't exist without it. An electromagnet with an end core that doesn't perform mechanical work but functions just for make and break of contacts was called a relay. Shorin's relay has one bobbin with 400 coils. Winding is made of enameled copper wire. A bobbin is put in circular core made of soft annealed iron and screwed into angle joint. At the end of the angle joint, an axis of thin laminated armature having a pen point that moves from one contact to another while operating as fastened. External screw adjusts the tension on a coil spring working on an anchor. For gaining more sensitivity, an electromagnet circuit or relay wasn't open, but closed with burden and light flat anchor. Telegraph relays contacts as well as first phone's contacts had relay of an anchor type. An anchor itself, bearing contact details, functioned as a movable contact element in such relays. The first electromagnet relays had heavy base nodes and heavy base adjusting and binding screws. The maximum sensitivity and equal actuating and returning time for anchor was set with a regulating screw of a recoil spring. It allowed telegraph signals intensifying without considerable impairments. Not polarized relay as well as non polarized magnet operates independently of circuit direction. Though changes of current direction lead to changes of core magnetic polarity, it doesn't influence on anchor pulling. The reason for this is that anchor is made of usual iron shard and can be attracted equally both to north and south poles of the magnet. Such relays are widely used in different types of telegraph sets.